Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. We need to find God, and he cannot be found in noise and restlessness. God is the friend of silence. See how nature, trees, flowers, grass grows in silence. See the stars, the moon and the sun, how they move in silence. We need silence to be able to touch souls. God gave you a gift of 86,400 seconds today. Have you used one to say thank you? Every child comes with the message that God is not yet discouraged of man. God has entrusted me with myself. For prayer is nothing else than being on terms of friendship with God. I believe God is managing affairs and that he doesn't need any advice from me. With God in charge, I believe everything will work out for the best in the end. So what is there to worry about? Not only does God play dice, but he sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. God used beautiful mathematics in creating the world. God never ends anything on a negative. God always ends on a positive. What God intended for you goes far beyond anything you can imagine. I don't stand for the black man's side. I don't stand for the white man's side. I stand for God's side. The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely or unhappy is to go outside. Somewhere where they can be quiet, alone with the heavens, nature, and God. Because only then does one feel that all is as it should be. Never trust anyone completely but God. Love people, but put your full trust only in God. Every morning I wake up and thank God. God made the world round so we would never be able to see too far down the road. Trust in God, she will provide. God is a verb, not a noun. Start with God, the first step in learning is bowing down to God. Only fools thumb their noses at such wisdom and learning. God is the tangential point between zero and infinity. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. They always win who side with God. God, I can push the grass apart and lay my finger on my heart. I cannot think that we are useless or God would not have created us. There is one God looking down on us all. We are all the children of one God. The sun, the darkness, 
the winds are all listening to what we have to say. Start living now. Stop saving the good China for that special occasion. Stop withholding your love until that special person materializes. Every day you are alive is a special occasion. Every minute, every breath is a gift from God. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Whatever comes from God is impossible for a man to turn back. There are two kinds of people, those who say to God, Thy will be done, and those to whom God says, All right, then, have it your way. Coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. God has given us two hands, one to receive with and the other to give with. God has given you one face, and you make yourself another. My trust in God flows out of the experience of His loving me, day in and day out. Whether the day is stormy or fair, whether I'm sick or in good health, whether I'm in a state of grace or disgrace, he comes to me where I live and loves me as I am. Men must be governed by God, or they will be ruled by tyrants. Life is God's novel. Let him write it. God needs daily needs daily. Not weekly or annually. He will give you what you need when it is needed. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Heaven means to be one with God. One in God make a majority. God will not permit any troubles to come upon us unless he has a specific plan by which great blessing can come out of the difficulty. I sometimes think that God in creating man somewhat overestimated his ability. I believe in God, but not as one thing, not as an old man in the sky. I believe that what people call God is something in all of us. I believe that what Jesus and Muhammad and Buddha and all the rest said was right. It's just that the translations have gone wrong. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It is God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. It is all pure. Where mercy, love, and pity dwell, their God is dwelling too. Whatever disunites man from God, also disunites man from man. There's only one effectively redemptive sacrifice, the sacrifice of self-will to make room for the knowledge of God. People see God every day, they just don't recognize Him. Before me, even as behind, God is, and all is well. Young man, Young man, 
Your arm's too short to box with God. Laughter is God's blessing. God sent Jesus as an example to see if we could retain and maintain the Holy Spirit in human flesh. Nothing that is God's is obtainable by money. God's truth judges created things out of love, and Satan's truth judges them out of envy and hatred. It may be that our role on this planet is not to worship God, but to create Him. Reason is God's crowning gift to man. There is no place in my soul, no corner of my character, where God is not. Each one of us is an outlet to God and an inlet.